Hello, my name is Danny Nolan and I'm the Director of Chassis Sim Technologies. Welcome again to the Chassis Sim version free tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about a feature in Chassis Sim that's available from the light version of Chassis Sim right through, through to the full version of Chassis Sim, Chassis Sim Elite. And it's one of these features, it's so small you can almost overlook it, yet it's a feature you can use to almost incredibly powerful effect. And the feature I'm talking about is the importing of the chassis sim version free tire approximation so how do you do this well you simply click on either the front or the rear tire let's just click on the rear tire and you'll see here this tab called import v3 ascii tire file optimum tire results now what we're doing when we're importing that we're just simply importing a simple text file that looks something like this as you can see it's just a simple ascii text file that you can basically fill in. But the, but the really, really, really powerful thing about these files, and I'll just show you basically what a Canva version incarnation looks like, is that what we can do is that we can basically mix and match this. For, uh, we can basically mix and match this to basically represent a tire. Think of this as basically being very, very, very equivalent to having a Bajaka tire model. See, the beauties about the beauty about the Bajaka tire model, regardless of what you think about what sort of job it does, to be able to try and parameterize a tire in about 100 or so variables is actually something that's really, really powerful because it gives you the ability to tweak with um, what your tire is um, tr uh, truly capable of. Same thing here for the chassis MV free tire approximation. And what we're going to show you today is we're going to show you some little tips and tricks you can use to basically you how you would actually use this in a working environment as you're tuning as you're um, trying to um, tune in your as you're trying to tune in your race car and tune in your vehicle model so you can get that vehicle set up. So without a shadow of uh, uh, so um, so uh, so without hesitation, let's look into it. So. As we can see here, I'm just going to go back to basically, let's just say that um, we've got our uh, our camber approximation just purely for tire load. And the great thing about the chassis MV3 tire approximation, as you can see here, I'm just going to play with the traction circle ellipse. I don't have to specify every element here. It's just going to change the elements that I um, require. So. What I'm going to do is I've run a baseline simu uh, is I've run a baseline simulation for our tire, and as we can see, particularly down here, we're probably for this uh, for this uh, baseline simulated model. If we just zoom in on here, it's probably maybe just a little bit at um, it's just a little bit advantageous on the throttle a little bit, so. How would we fix this using the chassis MV3 tire approximation? Well, it's actually breathtakingly simple. What we would do using the chassis MV3 tire approximation, as you can see here, we've got basically what our optimum tire camber is, and we've got basically the sensitivity as this sum um, changes um, uh, as um, this sum um, changes with camber. But what I'm going to do here is I've also got basically some multipliers. This is basically a global multiplier to dial in the traction limps, and this basically dials, uh, controls its camber sensitivity. So let's just say for the purposes of this illustration, I'm going to change this from 1 to 0.8 to, try, uh, uh, to um, try and dial down the throttle characteristics. So let's just save that. And what I'll do is I'll go back in the chassis sim, and I'll import that um, tire approximation. And what I'm going to uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my uh, cam uh, uh, my camber traction circle uh, pro uh, properties file. Click on that. Click on OK. Let's run a simulation. So I'll just say tire, uh, and I'll just say um, traction circle mod one, and I'll just call this traction circle uh, mod, uh, uh, mod 1 and I'm just going to basically log this to MoTeC interpreter. I mean in reality you could use any uh, 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 you could use any data log logging you see fit but 
I'm just using interpreter just for the purposes of this demonstration. So I'm going to start that, and I'm going to start the simul, uh, and I'm uh, going to um, start the simulation. Okay, so we've completed our simulation. We got our simulated lap time here. We completed our lap time, and that's a 62.92. Okay, so we finished doing our lap time, and now let's have a look at overlaying so our data. Here's basically our baseline. Let's have let's now have a look at basically with the um, modified chassis sim approximation. Now, as you can see, what we did last time, or, or what we did with the chassis sim approximation, was just going back and bringing that up for you, so you can see it again. Is that we basically reduced the traction circle radius uh, 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 longitudinally, so to basically reduce the amount of power it could take out. So we changed it from 0.8 to 1. And as you can see, coming back here, that's exactly what it's done. The blue is the baseline. The black is with the chassis sim V3 approximation. And as you can see, it's exactly worked. Uh, it's exactly worked as advertised. So that's basically uh, uh, so that's basically helped um, with our throttle. Now, I realise that this is a bit of what you would call a bit of a Mickey Mouse example. But the beautiful thing about it is, is it going back to our little text file? Is it going back to our little text file here? We can play with this all day long while we're basically refining our model. And what's more, we can use it to refine our model really, really quickly, so that we can come up with a rough model. Very uh, that we come come up with a rough model that we can validate against data. But more importantly, the beautiful thing about this process is the fact that. It really informs us as to what really is going on underneath the hood, and that is absolute gold. Now, let's just say that we want to basically come up with a 2D approximation of the tyre, and there's some various bits and pieces of the tyre we want to change. So what I've done here is I've basically got our traction circle radius from our um, standard rear tyre, and I've basically filled it in. All right, let's just say that basically up in the upper load um, uh, characteristics, that um, it was uh, uh, that I, that in the upper load characteristics, it basically wasn't acting as advertised. So let's just say that particularly with this um, point at um, tyre uh, at um, tyre force four, that probably was probably getting getting to be a little bit optimistic. So let's just change that to say. 7,000, and what we might do here is I'll just for, uh, uh, for the point of illustration is I'll just change that to about eight grand. So, as you can see here, basically all of these coordinates here, these are basically load points in newtons. So, that's load in newtons, tire force in newtons. So, I can basically save that, and like I did before, I can just simply click on import v3 approximation. Here's my load only, click on OK. Boom, I've just changed my traction circle radius. And to show you basically where that has changed, that's basically ch uh, that's basically changed there. So what we can now do is we can now run that up and see what that's done. So let me just basically um, change that to, to uh, let me change that to um, tire load mod two. I'll change that to tire load mod two. I'll just change my file name to tire load mod two. I'll click on OK, go to start, and we'll see basically what that does. So we're done, and our lap time is a 60.765. So what we're going to do, let's go back here. And I'm just going to go Shift F4, uh, select that as my uh, new file. And as we can see here, the black is our new one. As you can see, there's been quite a quite a considerable difference, particularly in the high speed. Now, again, this is a very very simple um, demonstration of what it's capable of. Yet the power of what we're doing is what we're doing here is not rocket science. All we're doing here is changing an ASCII file, going in to basically where our tyres are, using this import v3 ASCII tyre um, approximation, then basically clicking on OK, and guess what? That applies our changes. 
this is what's so powerful about the version free tire approximation. It gives you in it gives you a very 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 uh, it uh, gives you a very very powerful method to really come up with something that's um, very very powerful very very quickly and it allows you to really estimate things very very quickly now what I'm going to do is in uh, uh, particularly on the chassis sim blog where you'll see this video I'm also going to include basically a little thing called the chassis sim v free tire approximation that shows you what all these variable means but look by all means have a play with this um, whether you're an existing chassis sim user or you're considering using chassis sim have a play with it and see for yourself just what a powerful tool this can uh, uh, this can be and really find out for yourself how you can use this to really be a very very useful tool in not just understanding your race car but really knowing how to get the most out of your setup